Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're doing well. I haven't vlogged in a while, so that's what we're up to today. I'm gonna show you everything that I eat. I also have a sponsor for today's video. I'm working with the brand House, so I will say a little bit about them shortly. But I wanted to dive straight into our first meal because we're getting a very late start to eating today anyway. So far I've only had some iced coffee with a little splash of this Silk Vanilla Soy Creamer, which I haven't bought in a while, but I used to love it, so I thought, why not revisit it? And it's just as good as I remember it being. So we're making pancakes for breakfast, protein pancakes. I have this Kodiak Cakes plant-based mix, which they just released like a couple months ago, I wanna say. I think you can find it at Target, but if not, uh, they have a store locator on their website. You can check where it is available near you. And if you can't find it, Birch Benders also makes a vegan friendly protein pancake mix that we've used before and really enjoy. And you can find that one at Sprouts, Whole Foods, I think, Target as well. I've seen that one in a lot more places than this one. But this is just the one we happen to have. Uh, you just have to use water to make it. So just equal parts mix and water. I actually use a little bit less than equal parts because I like my batter a little bit thicker. Um, and then I have some of these allergy-friendly semi-sweet chocolate chips. This is by Simple Truth, which is like the Kroger organic brand, but these are vegan-friendly and being cert certified gluten-free and nut-free and all of that. So I'm gonna put a handful of those in and have some strawberries that keep forgetting we purchased and need to use up. So I'm gonna chop those and put them on top. And then lastly, we're running some errands this morning and stopped at Whole Foods and I picked up some of this Lakanto brand sugar-free maple flavored syrup. It's monk fruit sweetened. I really like the brand Lakanto's. Um, they make a chocolate bar, a monk fruit sweetened chocolate bar that I really like. So I figured we'd give this a try. So I'm gonna put that and probably a little bit of butter, vegan butter on my pancakes as well. Cause I always need like copious amounts of vegan butter on pancakes and waffles. I'm gonna thin this out just slightly more. And then while we were at Whole Foods, I also picked up, actually they have a lot of new products these days, so I was kind of overwhelmed, but I ended up picking up some of the Sweet Earth Mindful Chicken Strips. It's soy-based vegan chicken strips, and they look good. And I haven't really found any other like vegan chicken substitute other than like, you know, like chicken patties or chicken nuggets. Those are all pretty good, but just plain chicken strips. The Guardian ones are okay, the Morningstar ones are okay, but I'm still kind of on the hunt for ones that I really, really like. So maybe we'll use these for lunch and hopefully they are good. So I've got my pancakes going on the griddle back there. I'm also gonna heat up some of these Beyond Breakfast sausages. These are new, these are from Whole Foods as well. They have like an or a original flavor and then a spicy one. I haven't tried the spicy ones yet, I'm sure they're amazing, but these are definitely my favorite breakfast sausages that I have tried since going vegan. These I've seen at Sprouts as well, if you're trying to get your hands on them. But I'm just gonna make one for me and one for Eric. Okay, we have made our pancakes. Oh look, I'm in it. <laughs> I'm in. I was trying to stay, I was trying to stay out of it. This is gonna be the first time the vlog sees your blonde hair. Oh yeah, uh, we did this to my hair. It's been a process, you guys. It actually does not look as light as it really does on camera. Yeah. Yeah, it's much lighter in real life. Uh, let me know in the comments whether you're just kidding. I don't want to know. I don't, I, if you don't like it, you probably don't like it. It's fine. I like it. I like it too. Uh, um, okay, so I'm putting a little bit of the Country Crock avocado oil vegan butter on mine. You don't like butter on yours, do you? Um, There's chocolate chips in here. Ooh. Butter? No butter? Meh. Okay. I have to put butter on it always. Uh, so I put that. I'm going to drizzle on some of this. Are you eating all of our strawberries? <laughs> I chopped up some strawberries, stop. <laughs> chopped up some strawberries. Let's try this stuff. Uh, it's very thin, it's very watery. I wish I were thicker though. Ugh. Ooh, boy. <laughs> Too much. Um, Let's try it though. I'm it's sure good. it's good. It's good. They really... It's just not really a syrup, it's a... Um, juice. Yeah, maple flavored <laughs> water free juice. Mmm. <laughs> It does taste really... It tastes like they're chocolate. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Try the sausage with me. Oh, yeah. We haven't tried the spicy one yet. 
Are we are we talking about the Kodiak cakes at all? Oh. Have you talked about them? Because they're really, really good. I don't good. know if I've shown them on the channel yet, but... They're so good. Yeah, you can't really tell they're protein pancakes. They're not gritty or... Or vegan. Or anything. Beep. It's so good. It's so good. Mm hmm So... Better than the... Original flavor? Yeah, the non-spicy ones. Mm hmm They're both really good. Mm. But... Highly recommend if you're looking for a good vegan breakfast sausage. Okay, so this is our very high protein, carb heavy breakfast. Try to include a lot more vegetables in lunch. <laughs> it's hard to put vegetables in this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. That sausage is most dank. Mm hmm. We're gonna, I don't know what we're making for lunch, maybe like a salad, but we're gonna grill for dinner. Mm hmm. It's Eric's mom's birthday, so she's coming over with her adorable little pup, Lil Yo Yo. So maybe there will be some cute puppy footage. There definitely will be, if I know if I know you. <laughs> I'm gonna grill up some burgers and some corn. Vegetables? Maybe some other veggies. Should I make skewers? Mm-hmm. Oh. I have zucchini. Corn. Oh. Mm-hmm. Alright, check in with you in a little bit. Oh, so hey guys, it's been a couple of hours. I just started snacking on this uh, sea salt and black pepper popcorn to tide me over until I make lunch. I'm gonna make I think some sort of salad with lots of different nuts and seeds in it. And I'm gonna throw on some of this vegan chicken that I showed you earlier. Before I make that though, I wanted to start to prep some of the veggies that we're gonna grill for dinner, just so they have a chance to marinate. So all we have on hand right now that's grillable is zucchini, I've got a sweet onion, and then I've got like a fourth of a red onion that I'm just gonna throw in there. A bunch of garlic too. I think I'm gonna make like a garlicky balsamic marinade, something similar to the marinade that I showed in my previous video. So I'll link that down below as well as the recipe on my blog in case you wanna make something similar to this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these into big chunks. We have a grill wok. So it's one of these things, it's just like a wok that has holes in it. Stick this right on the grill and then you can stir fry your grilled veggies instead of skewering them if you're feeling lazy, which I am today. I think I'm gonna do like this size for the zucchini. But I'm gonna throw them in this baking tray because I'm gonna toss them in the marinade. <laughs> it's sticking. I'm gonna toss them in the marinade in this and then chuck them in the fridge. So I'll probably just use half of this onion half of the sweet onion and then the remainder of the red onion. I just do big chunks for these as well. So I've got our veggies in here. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball everything cause that's how I usually cook <laughs> if I'm not trying to develop a recipe for the blog. Olive oil. This is our, ugh, if I could open it, balsamic vinegar. Little sploosh of vinegar. I'm gonna do a drizzle of maple syrup. You can use agave too. Or you can leave it out altogether. Balsamic vinegar does have a little bit of its own sweetness, but I like to add a little bit more of a sweetener just to balance everything out. Salt, fresh black pepper, and then I'm adding in a bunch of garlic. And I'm gonna use the garlic press just to make it easy. There we go. Go ahead and just give everything a toss and then I'm gonna cover this and throw this in the fridge for the next couple of hours just until we're ready to grill. And I'm gonna start making lunch. Hey, I'm pausing really quickly to say a few quick words about the sponsor of today's video. I'm working with House and they make aperitifs. If you're not familiar with what those are, they're a type of alcohol. It's lower on the spectrum as far as alcohol goes. And they have complex flavors, herbs, and botanicals. House specifically is owned by a husband and wife. They have a farm in Sonoma County, California. Their whole thing is farm to bottle. So the product is crafted on their farm using their ingredients or ingredients sourced from other local farms. And they're completely transparent about everything that goes into each bottle, which is not really the case with most alcohol out there these days. And it is something that I really value. And I feel like after I turned 25, my body started saying like, 
no to hard alcohol. So I really appreciate that, again, it's lower in alcohol and it's just sometimes nice to have something to sip on whether you're hosting a social gathering, which I know is not really happening these days, but later it will. Or if you just want something to sip on and treat yourself while you're having dinner or watching a movie. I really like drinking it with just some club soda and then whatever citrus I have, just squeeze a little bit of that in there or you can muddle some berries in the bottom of it really good. The house is offering a deal to the first 100 people who click on the link in the description box below. You'll get $10 off your first order and free shipping. This is pretty different from any other brand I've worked with before, but I think it's cool because I know a lot of us have been under quarantine for so long and it's just kind of nice to have like little treats here and there to make the day feel special. I've been really enjoying making like fancy coffee drinks. You guys know if you've been following me and I think this is like another little fun way to treat yourself. It gets delivered straight to your door too. So if you're still kind of like trying to avoid going out and shopping, that is a plus. Anyway, thanks for listening and let's get back to the video. Okay, so let's give this stuff a little taste test. I just opened it and it really does smell very chickeny actually in a way that kind of grosses me out. When I was growing up, my family ate a lot of rotisserie chicken. Like we had a George Foreman rotisserie. And so I have that smell, the smell of chicken just etched into my psyche. So this is reminding me of that. Okay, it's good. Flavor wise, really quite chickeny, pretty neutral. This tastes like, like, I don't know, it reminds me of chicken noodle soup, exactly. Mmm, it's a little dry though. It's like chicken breast. It's not explicitly labeled gluten-free, but it's not, it doesn't contain any like vital wheat gluten. This is just a soy protein concentrate. So it's good. Um, I don't actually know if I want to use it in my lunch though. I feel like because it's so plain, yeah, the more I eat it, the better it tastes to me. I definitely think you should try this, um, but I am gonna save it for something a little more flavorful, and I'm gonna use a different vegan chicken for my salad. So I have this plant-based chicken by Tofurky. I'm gonna use this one because it's already kind of lightly seasoned. It has some like herbs and black pepper on there. And it's a little more moist from what I recall. So I think that this will be good like on its own on the salad. I'm gonna use half this head of romaine lettuce. I've really been trying to do better about getting greens in my diet. I just, I've just been struggling like throughout the course of the pandemic to uh, eat healthy or eat, eat in a balanced way. Um, needing a lot of sugar. So I'm trying to get better about eating more non-starchy vegetables and upping my protein again. Although I feel like I say that in every video, but that's just a testament to how much of a struggle it's been for me. So half of this. I have this avocado that's, I think on the verge of going bad. It's pretty soft. I had it in the fridge though. Uh, so I'm actually just going to massage this directly onto the lettuce and use this as like my creamy dressing substitute. Hit it with some salt and pepper, maybe a little bit of lemon juice. And then this is like the seed trio that I put in all my salads. I've got pepitas, raw sunflower seeds, hemp seeds, and I'll probably throw in like, I don't know, a handful of roasted cashews or something. I'm looking at my pantry area. I've got this. I'm just gonna mash it into my lettuce. We'll go ahead and do the other half too. Okay. Do a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Got some lemon. I'm gonna squeeze some of that on. I'm gonna drizzle it with a little bit of this tahini. This brand, uh, Seeds of Collaboration, I really like this brand of tahini. I didn't have to stir it at all. It's just, well, you'll see. It's super runny. 
and it's like lightly salted so you don't have to add any seasoning to it if you're making a sauce. Highly recommend this stuff. And I'm gonna add in a little bit of this tofurkey chicken. This stuff kind of just tastes like their hickory smoked uh, deli slices. Doesn't really taste like super convincing as chicken, but I do like it. Then, sliced up an apple. I'm gonna put a little bit of peanut butter on here and have this on the side. So here's my lunch, my salad. Got my apple and peanut butter. I'm gonna go eat this outside because the sun has finally peeked out from behind the clouds. Um, I did just realize that by the end of the day, I will have eaten three different kinds of vegan meat substitutes. So I have the sausage, the chicken, and then I'm gonna make burgers tonight. Typically wouldn't do that. Probably would have put like chickpeas or like a little bit of tofu in my salad instead of the faux meat. But I didn't think of that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go with it. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it per se. I just usually try to vary my protein sources. I'm getting a lot from the seeds too. Mm. So I'll check in with you in a little while and we'll do some grilling. Eric's gonna give you his opinion of the uh, Hello. vegan chicken. I wasn't prepared to do this. Let me get on my, uh, my screen face. <laughs> Just plain? Mm-hmm. It is like mildly chicken brothy. Mm -hmm. Good flavor, good texture. Mm -hmm. It's a little dry, just like chicken. Mm. That's really good. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. I really like that. What is it made out of? Soy? How funny is it that like, if you like watch Rent or listen to the soundtrack from Rent, mm -hmm. which is a play from like the 90s. Yeah. They, they're like all hippie like vegetarians and they go out to eat and they all order like soy meatballs and soy this and soy that. It was like the first thing that was ever used. Soy? Yeah. Well, because like Asian cultures are mm -hmm. so far ahead of us. But it's funny to me that now we're like 25 years later and like everyone's vegan and the best products are still made of soy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They've mm -hmm. just like figured out how to do it better, I guess. Mm -hmm. Wow, can I eat another piece? Of course. Don't you think that would be great in uh, chicken noodle soup? Yeah. Mm hmm Because it's mildly brothy. Mm hmm mm hmm Approved. Popping back in a few days later just to narrate the rest of what we ate that day. We did end up grilling as planned and we made Beyond Burgers. We melted on slices of Via Life cheddar. Uh, I think the cheddar or maybe the provolone. I can't remember. Uh, it's my favorite vegan cheese. We get it at Whole Foods. Um, and then Eric made some corn. We also grilled the veggies that I had marinated using the grill wok and had a burger on a bun with some lettuce and the pickles. I love pickles on burgers. I, it's because I used to love McDonald's burgers when I was growing up and they would always have like three pickles on there, right? And then the diced onion. Um, so that's like my favorite burger configuration. I also put some veganaise on there. I finally worked through the jar of vegan mayo by like Hellman's or Best Food, Best Foods, that uh, I wasn't too keen on and I was able to buy a new jar of mayo. I got veganaise this time, which I much prefer. Um, and then for dessert, since it was Eric's mom's birthday, we had picked up a little vegan chocolate blackout cake by the brand Rubicon Bakery and they're not a vegan brand but they do have a chocolate and a vanilla not sure if you could hear that but something just finished cooking in my instant pot anyway uh, the brand's not vegan but they have a vegan chocolate blackout and vanilla cake I've seen it at Sprouts too and um, pretty good pretty good if you don't want to bake something from scratch um, so we had a little slice of that and wrapped up our celebration. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Again, I typically wouldn't eat three different kinds of vegan meat in one day, but uh, it just worked out that way. So 
that's fine. What can you do? Thanks again to House for sponsoring today's video. If you're interested, you can check out the link down below and the first hundred people who use it to purchase will get $10 off their first order as well as free shipping. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys very soon.